Hey peeps, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm like so tired. I didn't get to get any sleep last night. Um, Tom woke, at, woke up at about 3 a.m. so that he had to go to work. Um, he had an overnight shift yesterday. So, um, like when he woke up, turn on the lights, making a lot of noise. So, you, usually I'm the type of person, like once I wake up, it's very hard for me to go back to sleep. And, um, so I was up for like a couple hours. Then when, once I was able to go back to sleep, somebody came knocking on my door and I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I had to get the door and I tried to like go back to sleep. And once I like, started to doze off again, someone came, you know, not someone came, but, um, breakfast arrive because usually you know my family members make breakfast or we make breakfast during the day sometimes if i'm like not feeling too well or like can't get up or sometimes they just do so um breakfast was here so then i had to get up and i was like oh so i went to go eat some breakfast and i'm like oh so i wake up about like 10 11 o'clock a.m might as well wait for him to get home for, out for work because he gets off at 12 and i'm like usually when he gets off like he just wants to go to sleep so i'm like you know then we'll you know both sleep because Usually when he's at work, I'm up, and we sleep at the same time. But today, he's just, like, so full of energy. He doesn't want to go to sleep, and I'm just like, bro, I need some rest. And I don't want to go to sleep by myself. So I guess I'm going to be up um, until later on tonight when we go to bed. Um, I'm going to go out to buy the car seat and the stroller for my baby. Um... I had one in particular in mind, but I really don't care what kind of car seat or stroller I get. I know there's a lot of people that's picky about stuff like that, but one of those I want to do because I'm not really picky about because I don't really go out much, so I don't think we'll be using it as much. But um, my sister is going to be getting it for me, so we're going to be at the store today, and I'm going to vlog while we're at the store as well, so I can show you, like, you know, what we're getting and so forth. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm currently in Target right now. As you can see, my sister's behind me <laughs> with my niece and my nephew. And we're going to look at strollers and um, bath supplies. I have a specific bath product that I want to use with my child. And that is the Burt Bees line. Um, I really like their product. It's pretty natural, organic stuff. Uh, I think it's better than Johnson's Johnson and Aveeno. Um, I've tested both products with my niece and my little sister when they were growing up. And I find Burt's Bees to be one of the best products. This is weird. This is my first time vlogging in a store while people are watching. And um, I think it's kind of weird. But I'm actually trying to look. I think we passed. I think we passed the baby aisle. I think it's over here. And stuff. Hold on. Um... I think it's over here. Bam. I think I'm past the baby stuff. But. <sighs> look at look at, look at this grown baby. I'm like so tiny. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, you're nine months. You're so little. And it's like, okay, so what? I'm toned. At least I'll bounce back, you know? So. Huh? You don't hear a lot of Creole. Yes, we are Haitian. We're from the Caribbean. And. Yeah, I'm going to buy them later. Later? Yes. I don't know when. Later is like maybe in like two days, but not today. But yeah, so she's telling me that I need stuff to like really keep my body heated for after the baby, after I give birth, you know. And I told her that I'm going to get that stuff later. But um, look at the stroller. Hold on. So here's the stroller choices. Um, I'm not sure yet as to exactly what I want. I know I want something like this. Um, that one's nine ninety ninety nine nine nine. But when I saw it online, it was about two three hundred dollars. So you know that's a big price difference. Thank God. Um, but here's the different choices. Oh my gosh, look at this beanie! Isn't this just adorable, guys? This is just adorable. Um, we're we are in Target, by the way. Um, oh my God, look at this little card again. Twelve months. Mm, I think this is so cute. But enough clothes. I brought a lot of clothes. So I shouldn't even be looking at clothes right now. Um, if anything, I, I need more hats because I don't have a lot of hats. 
but this is like what five hats for nine dollars is that even worth it i'm not sure what the price is supposed to be um but yeah but yeah but i came here for strollers and bath products so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the strollers and i'll get back to you guys once we actually make a decision on which stroller we're going to choose and what we're gonna go with but i really like this one i like the color at least but we'll see yes dorian you always want chips he's always eating guys always eating. hey peeps good morning um yeah i know this next clip was actually supposed to be me talking about the strollers that i brought um it's actually the next day and um i'm out for like a morning walk I'm trying to get this labor going it's about to be 40 weeks and i don't think my son understands that you know it's time to get out get done cooking you know i'm giving you the eviction notice so i went out for a walk you know maybe 12 blocks and then walk back home but um yeah so if you guys know any ways to like naturally induce labor because i would really hate to have to go through like the induction process of getting pitocin and all that extra jazz you know i would honestly just prefer that he comes out on his own you know but that doesn't seem like um <laughs> doesn't seem like it's going in that route right now that's pretty stressful because i was really hoping to have like a drug free um labor so just let me know if you guys have an idea leave in the comment box below um like and subscribe of course um and the next clip will be with the stroller once i get back home i'm gonna go ahead and vlog the stroller and show you what stroller i got and the reviews that i've read about it i haven't used the stroller yet obviously because i'm still pregnant but once i do use a the stroller then i'll make a review about it oops sorry because one thing that i do notice is that um when it came to like trying to find a stroller in a crib like a good stroller and a good crib like looking for reviews and stuff like i couldn't really find much besides like what's on the website that sells it and of course you know reviews like that i don't really believe in because i feel like you can pay anybody to post something on a website or people can just post things and you know they've only had the crib for like not even 30 minutes because i've known i know people who do stuff like that like they'll get something they're just like oh, i don't like it and they'll go put a bad review about it so i like to like watch review videos but there's not much review videos about the crib that i brought which i got the delta layla four in one crib and there's not much reviews about it and um, the stroller I got, I believe it's an even flow, but we'll see that when I actually get back to the house. We got Tom behind me, dragging his feet along. But yeah, basically just like watching me during the walk to make sure no one kidnaps me. I'm not sure who wants to kidnap a, kid, a pregnant person. I don't think they want that kind of responsibility. Unless it's like some type of crazy person who wants a baby like so bad and you know, they'll try to kidnap me. That's actually scary that people like that exist. But um, yeah. So once I do get to back to the house, then I'll go ahead and vlog the stroller and the car seat that I got. And um, I'm not sure when I'm actually supposed to put those things together. Because I'm the type of person, when I'm in pain, I don't want to be bothered about anything or stressed out about anything. So I don't think I would want to be worried about getting the car seat and all that together when I'm in labor. I think I would want to worry about that before labor. And also with my swing set and stuff. But I think the swing, I can like fix that. Like the swing, whatever. Like after the baby's born, when she gets here, I can get Tom to do it. And yeah. But stay tuned, guys. And let's go on to the next clip. So I've been trying to record this video for like a while now. And Tom keeps coming in here, interrupting and giving his you know, feedback and whatever. This is why I like to vlog alone because I don't need nobody coming in here trying to judge me about how I vlog or what I choose to vlog about. So, without further ado, as I was saying, um, so this is actually the, the video that, um, well, not the video, but the portion of the video I, have, I was supposed to put in about the stroller that I did get at Target. Um, the stroller that I did go with was the Evenflow Sibby. Um, I feel like it was a good choice. I liked a lot of things about the stroller. I'm going to show it to you guys now. Um, I didn't actually set up the stroller as of yet. I mainly just, it's still in the box. So I'm probably going to set it up like today or tomorrow. Or maybe, you know, when I'm actually in labor. And I need something to be distracted with. So then I'll start fixing it up or whatever the case is. 
But without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the stroller that I went with. So as I said, the stroller I went with, I'm going to try to get out of your way here, hold on, is the, the Even Flow City. Honestly, I didn't even know Even Flow made strollers. I honestly thought they only made, what, breast pumps, I think it is, and bottles. I'm not sure. I don't even know. But this is the one I went with. Um, this is how it looks. I love the color. I love the format of the stroller. I like that umbrella look. I just love how the stroller looks all together. And it's, you know, the whole travel system. So the travel system. And, you know, I don't forget the choice that I went with. Um, at least not yet. You know, like I said, I can't give a complete review because, um, honestly, I haven't tested out the stroller yet. So I can't say thoroughly much about the stroller, but just can show you guys what I chose to go with. Um, here's the front of the stroller, the box. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but okay. What I really mainly wanted to show you guys, however, is the um the features of the stroller. Hold on, because it has two sides. I think one is in French, and I can read it to you guys in French because I did read French by the way. <laughs> but and the other side is in English. But I just prefer not to do that. Give me one second. You're interrupting again. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Somebody came to say hello. I ain't say hello. I don't know y'all. <laughs> I do not know y'all. Y'all don't know me. Anyways, guys, you already know that's Big T, Tom. I don't know them. Um, but yeah, so here's the part of the stroller that I actually wanted to show you guys and the features that it come with, Um, which is... Oops. Sorry, which is the ride along board, the sport style handle grips, the oversized. Ride along! Sport handle grip! <laughs> ride along! <laughs> but, I'm sorry, guys. Like, T is like a real goofball. But, like I was saying, it's the ride along board, which is number one, the sport style handle grip. I don't even think this is like, you know. Um, zooming correctly, but whatever. The oversized store it basket, the quick and easy fold. Okay, so the ride along board comes with like the little board in the back right there that says up to 50 pounds. And basically, like I travel with my niece and my nephew a lot. So if I am traveling with my baby and I happen to have my niece and my nephew with me, then I can just put them on the board in the back so that if we do go somewhere and they get tired of walking, or if I don't want to go through the hassle of having to chase them around the store, then I could just put them on the board and ride with them. So I thought that was a really cool feature, even though I don't have two kids. But my niece and my nephew are like my children, either way. Um, the sports style handle grips, comfortable and easy to maneuver, designed to accommodate rider. So it's um, I've the reviews that I have read about this stroller is that it is easy to maneuver. Um, they don't really have problem with the wheels. Because most strollers that I w did want to get, they kept saying that, um, the wheels were an issue and that it was hard to maneuver and that they were plastic and things would go wrong. But I haven't seen bad reviews in regards to this. The only review that I did see that was pretty off was the fact that you can't actually put a child on a riding board until your kid is about six months and they can sit up. Because once the stroller chair is in, the stroller tends to lean back a little bit, which makes it, you know, almost impossible for your, you know, the other kid to be on the riding board. So that's the only thing that I've seen that was a bad review really in regards to the stroller and um i did see in a review that they said that the basket was an oversized storage basket so i'm gonna take their word for that you know convenient access and maximum storage but either way my diaper bag has clips so that i can hang it from the top of the stroller or if i even want to hang it on a um as if I'm in a cart in a supermarket i can hang it from a cart so that i don't i don't really have to worry about you know trying to stuff you know a whole bunch of stuff down in the basket of the stroller i have to keep bending down or whatever it's really convenient and the last one is the quick and easy fold one hand in seat slim fold and one thing about me i love when something is easy to deal with it's very quick i don't really have to you know go through a hassle of closing and opening it so that's one another really good feature about this stroller as well hopefully it sticks to its word i know strollers can't stick to the word but whoever made the stroller or put this together hopefully it is what it says it is 
and I don't have to worry about, you know, having any of these issues with the stroller. Um, and I think that's about it. There's a few pointers at the bottom, but nothing too serious. It talks about how it was tested above and beyond industry standards. Um, how it's ready, set, go. The infant seat moves from base to stroller with one secure click. Um, I did read that online as well, saying that it was easy to maneuver the stroller from the car and um, on the stroller and back. Um, it's not that difficult. And the easiest car seat to carry. Lighter than leading competitions, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, the whole thing about lighter than um, leading comp competitors. I said competition. Leading competitors. Um, I did read on a lot of reviews saying that this car seat was a little bit heavier than, you know, usual. And um, they, it wasn't hard to maneuver and stuff, but it was, like, a little heavy. Um, but they said it was not as light as other car seats that they dealt with. And, you know, if the kid grow into it, then you won't really have to worry about, you know, dealing with the heavy car seat. Which is, which is also a good thing because I don't really, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know anybody who wants to carry a heavy car seat around with a kid in it. But I don't want to do that. So... That's pretty much it, and then they show you the like, you know, how the numbers go on the stroller and on the car seat as well. So you know me, I really, I, I can't wait to actually start using the stroller and being able to, you know, maneuver around with it and all that jazz. Okay, so that's the stroller that I'm going with. Um, I hope you guys did like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and. Leave comments about any further, you know, videos that you guys would like to see. Um, if you want to see a review about the crib that I bought as well, which I told you guys, I think it's the Layla 4-in-1 by Delta. Um, I haven't used it as yet, but I do have a couple reviews, pros and cons about it so far, and I haven't even used it yet. So I'm guessing right now that I guess that's a, it can be good and bad because there's a, there's a few cons about it that I don't like, and I haven't even gotten a chance to use it yet. So, um, if you want me to do a review about that, just let me know. And, you know, any other videos that you guys would like to see. And as I said before in the beginning of my video, I am trying to induce my labor naturally. You know, I'm about to hit 40 weeks. So, hopefully you guys can give me some insight about how I can get that rolling about. But, again, you know, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be subscribe below. And, you know, please keep up with us. It's Lex and Big T. And as you can see, you saw a little feature of Big T. He's always busy and running around. So like I said, you guys won't see him as much in the beginning, but like once the baby's here and, you know, we get everything situated and you guys will see him more often, hopefully. He's not all up and down. Okay? So thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace.